And that is a brand new Infiniti Q50. You may know it as the G37. Not anymore. It competes with cars like the IS250, which by the way, we'll be showing you tomorrow from the Detroit Auto Show. But right now, we've got the reveal of this brand new Infiniti coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President, Infinity Motor Company Limited, Johan de Nason. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you Cirque du Soleil for that inspiring presentation. This morning, we are about to launch Infinity on a bold new journey. A new Infinity brand direction built on a foundation of our past and guided by a very clear vision for the future. Performance has always been core to the Infinity brand and certainly will continue to unify the new Infinity generation. The Q50 will initially be offered with a 3.7 liter gasoline V6 or a sport performance hybrid. With a hybrid model, we have targeted the best balance of performance and fuel economy. And both engines will be offered with rear wheel drive or with intelligent all wheel drive. Our future global powertrains will include turbocharged gasoline, four cylinder, and also clean diesel engines. By the way, uh, we were very pleased to get feedback from Infinity Red Bull Racing Formula One driver Sebastian Vettel and Sebastian Bumi after testing prototypes in Japan and on the Nürburgring during the Q50 chassis development process. For example, the twin display central information center with Infinity InTouch next generation telematics provides integration of smartphone apps in a way that is safe and easy to use while driving. The advanced Infinity safety shield systems add an extra layer of driver and occupant protection. The new Q50 also features the world's first technology on a production automobile, direct adaptive steering. This new steering technology electronically transmits the driver's intentions to the wheels faster than a mechanical system and allows customization to the driver's preferred settings. Someday, all cars will use this technology, but today, you can only get it on an Infinity. You will hear more details on this and other technology as we progress towards the Q50's late summer 2013 North American on sale date. As a truly global car, sales will start subsequently in Europe, China and the rest of the world. We saw it first on the Fastlane car. 